called, you know, in a very famous fashion magazine. So Mr. Dumas was the, well, the director of Hermes, the CEO, you know, of Hermes. He asked her if they could name the bag after her. That made big advertisement. And then we have the Birkin. Birkin, actually Jane Birkin is a very famous British lady here. She's very famous as an actress and a singer here. It's not very, it's not very convenient, this bag. I have too many things in my bag, so it's not convenient. And the guy sitting by her helped her to tidy up. And he told her, what's wrong with your bag? She said, well, it's not convenient when you have kids and you have many things too. So what kind of bag would you like? And, it's, and she described the kind of bag she would like. Same kind, but a bit different. He said, I'm going to make it for you. And it was the CEO. You know, her CEO was sitting next to her who helped her to tidy up, you know, her bag. So that's how the Birkin bag, you know, she, he actually customized, you know, tailored the Kelly bag. <laughs> <laughs> so here ahead of us to the left, you see a, a, a red sign. It says Olympia, L'Olympia. It's a famous, you know, well, it's a famous live music concert hall. And this is where I used to sing the most famous French singer ever, a lady. She's the most famous singer. And now I'm going to feel miserable because you don't know her. Mariana. But I'm sure you know her. I'm going to say Edith Piaf. One day, more than two les jours, moi, ça fait quelque chose. You know, that's her. The tiny, tiny, tiny. You know, lady, with such incredible, powerful voice, but side fate, incredible fate, because she's starting, she started, you know, her career begging in the streets, singing and begging, very renowned sportsman. He went to the United States, to New York, for a match, international match. And then she, she asked him, because she was really in love, to hurry up to come back. And he hurried up, but he never made it, because his plane crashed. And she never recovered from that. She's still remembered today. She's like a national monument. <laughs> so here, you know, the Café de la Paix, that's a very renowned café, opened in the late 19th century. Now, look, we have this beautiful opera house, which is hidden, you know, because, well, you know, they're doing works. That's the gorgeous opera house. Great. Now for Chanel, we have a black woman as a top model for Coco Chanel. And that's a great, great thing. So. This opera house, we call, we call it the Garnier, or famous opera house ever in, in the world. You know why? Do you have any idea why it's so famous, the opera house? Because it's haunted by a phantom. The phantom of the opera. You know, that's a very famous, of course it's fiction now, very famous book which was made cinema film, you know, adapted to cinema. Now it's a musical show in London, which is just a fantastic show. So uh, it's a gorgeous place. So you can't see it from outside, but you can visit it inside. And it's a fantastic place. So now this, av this avenue, it's called the Opera Avenue. It leads us direct to the Louvre. So we're going to be dropped off a little bit further ahead. And then we'll walk to the Louvre. We're going to go inside the Louvre through the carousel, you know, uh, shopping mall. There's an underground shopping mall called the carousel. You know, before 1815, Paris was still a dirty medieval city, narrow winding streets, no underground sewers, all those garbages, there was dust in the middle of the street. So cholera was something very common. And then, uh, and dirt as well. So Napoleon III was then the sovereign. He appointed the Baron Haussmann to renovate the city. They knocked down some 15,000 houses. You know, and they replace those narrow winding streets by straight avenues like this one, and these beautiful, elegant buildings, seventh floor. And uh, and all the same type of balcony is very elegant. Yes. So we're going to get up quickly now. You're going to follow Jen and I, you know, up to the Louvre, and then yes, I'm going to take this sign. So you want to. Follow be careful with the steps.